Okay, if you're following along with the formulas, you're starting to realize how powerful these are. Um, now what we want to do is pretend that we have specific templates that we want to use for specific pages. For example, we might have an ant control template, and a bee control template, and a roach control template that are completely separate from one another. Okay? Now in that case, we're going to go ahead and make three new templates real quick. We'll just make them out of blank pages and make a real simple template. Okay, new from blank, and this would be our ant one. So we'll say ants are pesky little creatures. Everyone hates, and then I'm going to do a variable here, bug type, lowercase. Okay, everyone hates ants, all right? Let's go ahead and finish this. And we're going to save this as our ant.php template. We'll publish that. Okay, let's go ahead and make another one for our bees. And here we'll say most people are frightened of and then we're going to do our say bug type here, or case. They could use some, and we'll do keyword lowercase period. Okay. So most people are afraid of this will be bees. They could use some bee control. Bees might sting you simple template. Finish. We're going to call this b.php. Okay, and we'll do one more for roaches. New page from blank. And we're going to say roaches are disgusting creatures. without, and we'll use variable, keyword, that'll be roach control, you could be infested with roaches. Okay, we'll save that as roach.php. Okay. All right. Let's go back to our control panel. And now, we want to use the specific template file with the specific page. The way we're going to do that is with a formula. Okay, we're going to say add pages. And we're going to say anywhere. Okay, first we're going to use ant.php. We're going to use a template formula. And say anywhere the keyword contains the word ant, then go ahead and use the ant control the uh, ant.php template. Okay? We'll do another one here for Let's see, we want the B template, and anywhere the keyword and the, or the path one contains the word B. Okay, accept that, and then one more for roach. Okay, accept that, close it, and you can see our formula here now. We're in through this. This is saying to use this source file as a template. If our keyword or our path one, okay, it's using the label there, so we could say path one. If path one, okay, contains the word ant, then the page we want to create is ant.php. I could also say index.php. In fact, I think I like that better. Okay. Okay. So this is telling it to use the roach template if path1 contains the word roach, and if it does, create index.php as the file. Okay, So let's go take a look at what we get on our blueprint. Okay. B 
bees and roaches. Looks like the bug type is being fixed and controlled by what's in our path. All the cities look good. This looks pretty good. Build the pages. Here's the 24 pages. If we go to our ant control Yuma page, okay, it used the ants are pesky little creatures. Everyone hates ants, right? And then we go look at one of our B control pages. Okay, B control of Phoenix. Most people are frightened of bees. They could use some B control, bees might sting you. Okay? You get the idea. So it's using the right template for the right page. Okay, so it has all the variables correct, everything's right. Uh, we'll look at one of our roach pages. control Chandler. Roaches are disgusting creatures. Without roach control you could be infested with roaches. So it used the right template for the right page. Okay, So that's advanced. There's even more advanced features, uh, but for now that's probably more than you're going to need. Uh, there's all kinds of other cool stuff you can do with this. Uh, it gets pretty crazy actually uh, once you start understanding the power of these formulas. Right in the last video I want to do tonight is about spinning uh, and the fact that Mass Page Creator will take spin tax and use original content for these pages you create. Alright, so we'll go to that next.